Hello everyone. Can I just say thank you for the invitation to share a virtual thought with you. I count this a real privilege to share with you and it won't be of any surprise that my subject is on grace. Scripture gives us these words. Are you tired, worn out, burned out on religion? Come to me, get away with me and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. At the outset of the pandemic, the New York Times had a headline that simply said what the world needs now is, is grace. On further reading, the headline accompanied a report about the epidemic of opiate addiction that was gripping America before coronavirus became the latest pandemic to affect not only America, but right across the world. In the report, the journalist writes, because it affected so many families unprepared for its ravages, the epidemic inspired many of them to a new compassion and charity qualities that may not have displayed in times when their loved ones weren't among the afflicted. Pandemics, though, touch every one of us. As we understand how we can affect others and they us, we may rediscover, each of us, our largest social responsibility. While COVID-19 will be crushing to so many of us, it may also instruct us on the import importance of community now that we've lost it so suddenly. The one word that stood out for me as I read this article was the word grace. The word was prominent throughout the journalist's writing, but also prominent in between the lines, so to speak. Over the past three to four months, I have been amazed at how people have treated each other differently there seems to be more understanding of the needs of others, more tolerance, more compassion and respect, more gratitude. And there seems to be a wider spectrum of grace towards one another. I think what the pandemic and lockdown has taught me is this. We need to rediscover what God is calling us to do and to find that new, innovative way of being God's grace within our communities and within his church, to rediscover how his grace through our lives can make a difference in the lives of others. During the lockdown, I have discovered a gift and a passion for writing. and would like to share one of my meditations entitled Tapestry of God's Grace. Before me today, I have in my mind a tapestry of God's grace. It is interwoven into my DNA. My heart sings when I think of this amazing gift. Every thread touching my innermost being. My heart and soul dance to his intricate weave of love, humility and wholeness. I am awestruck as God takes my life and carefully threads every colourful strand of his grace that leaves me in no doubt that his masterpiece has begun. As God creates and recreates his tapestry in my life, I pause to say thank you for this incredible, undeserved gift he places in my heart. My prayer must be one of gratitude and one that cries out to God saying, Lord, don't stop. May I know the touch of your hand weaving the tapestry of immense grace in me and through me today. Hilary joins me in prayer for each of us to see God's, flowing, God's grace flowing freely through us as we continue to meet the needs of our communities. May God bless you.